machines YouTube experiment. Yeah, where nothing's correct and everything's wrong. It'll get done eventually. So yesterday I did a lot of talking, talked about Volvos, and today I'd like to avoid that. Um, it's bright and early in the morning, about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, yeah. Adult life. So, yeah, I'm going to get into it, and we will try to get this motor and transmission out. This is the manual 245, factory manual. Um, the M47, so it's not the electronic overdrive manual. It's a real five-speed. Uh, I have a turbo 945 that I will be pulling the B230 FT, uh, four-cylinder factory turbo motor out of. And then I have a factory locking rear end 245, which is this car is just red with a locking rear end and no rust, pretty straight. So all the turbo motor and the factory manual transmission stuff is going to be stuck in the red car, the red 245 anyway. So let's get into it. Why would you roll that car? I totally would have saved it. There is a lot of corrosion on this thing. Like this is really bad. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no, is that the supervisor? Oh god, oh no. Ah! Yes ma'am, can I help you? Is it that time? Uh, now's not call time. <laughs> okay. What do you get? Yeah. Stop it. Get out of here. Leave me alone. The rust isn't that bad. Yeah. Crusty like cinnamon toast crunch.
that yourself at 240. And the engine likes to jump around like a jumping bean whenever you turn it on or drive or whatever. It's probably because your motor mount broke. They like to shear right off. Not sure if you can see that, but the post on this alternator is terrible. Looks like it's been maybe arcing due to corrosion or something. It got hot, is what I'm saying, okay? It got hot and took some of the metal. Shitty carnival game. Nailed it. Let's see if we can get this intermediate shaft out. Hmm. Won't just yank out.
Kind of like putting a camshaft in. There we go. One V to 30 F. 240 and the shaft. Excuse me. Thank you. Alright, so as you can see by the huge mess I've made of my workspace, um, we have progress. The intermediate shaft is pulled out of the donor motor, or I guess from the donor car that had the transmission. The uh, 940s B230FT does not have a distributor here. They have a head-mounted distributor. And you cannot use that in the 240 unless you massage the firewall a little bit. So you just pull the intermediate shaft out, pull the pump drive out, the oil pump drive, and pull this, the distributor and you're good to go. Uh, next on the list, we need to get the manual parts out of this car. So this black plate that everything mounts to has to come out. Which means the steering column and dash and everything, including the heater box, needs to come out. Should be fun. Uh, not looking forward to it. Here we go. Once the pedal cluster is out, um, I think that's about it. I can push this thing outside and then we can ro roll the turbo car in here. Thankfully, um, thankfully the turbo car is just going to be yanking the motor out. I could probably even leave the transmission in it, but if I remember correctly, the torque converters are difficult to get apart. So we'll probably take the whole thing out. And, uh, yeah, that'll be it. See you tomorrow.